another box. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting on from StockX. Um, when I was getting back into wanting to collect shoes, I, I did a little bit of my research and started looking up a lot of the uh, the models that I already missed. But I would like to have add them. I would like to add them to my collection if I was going to go ahead and start up again. Obviously, start it up again. But um, these. Are some that I really like they're nothing too flashy crazy but in my opinion they're a very clean well put together shoe um but these are from StockX everybody knows that there's a lot of issues going on right now with StockX and hacking and all this stuff I pay through PayPal my PayPal is different than my StockX information so and I haven't seen any crazy transactions so I really have nothing to say you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I don't have any of my card information in there. I would never have my card information into any site other than, yeah, none of them. None of them. I don't trust them that much. I've, I've gotten screwed over traveling for work and going to all these different places and get some crazy-ass charges from some states that I haven't been in for three or four months. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Boom. Boom. I would show you this. but it's got my address on it. I don't want y'all crazy popping up at my shit. But, uh, yep. You can tell. Got the old white claw. My sister put me on this stuff. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. Like I said, this is one shoe that I wanted. And uh, it wasn't priced high, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it just to get, get this bad boy in the collection already. A Jordan one box. Stock X. Uh, letter of authenticity. It better be legit. Here's my receipt. And, 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 and. Boom. Jordan one rookie of the year. Uh, like I said. In my last video, I liked the uh, the women's mushrooms. What do you think this is? Same damn, almost the same damn colorway, but in a one silhouette, which is highly sought after. Um, just to me, a straight up clean colorway. Just a sexy looking shoe. That tumbled leather, a nice soft suede, looking good. Bullshit tag. Probably could have got that off of uh, eBay, you know what I mean? But I'm just joking. With the red laces, come on. With the tight packing, it's one of the giveaways. Whenever you uh, see that loose ass packing and the the laces aren't wound up and stuff like that, that's that's kind of a one of those telltale signs. You might wanna you might wanna pull right because they might they might be fucking you. But yeah, hold on. Let me open up this light. Look at that toe box. Nice and tumbled. This is a good looking shoe, man. This is the first time I've ever seen it in person, honestly. Um, a lot of these shoes, like I said, we don't get them in this area. So I, I, even though I always, even when I wasn't collecting, I was still kind of buying shoes and so then I still had like a, a passion for shoes. So I would go into champs and see things that I wasn't looking up like I used to just look up on the internet, you know, sneaker news, having all the info and all that stuff. Um, so I would go into the champs, the Foot Locker, the Foot Action, and see what is there. And usually, what's there is stuff that nobody wanted, or because everything that sold out was, you know, already gone, picked up. But I had never seen these in person. I, yeah, I've seen videos and images, but you know, in hand, everything's always different, you know. And um, this is a damn good-looking shoe in person. Freaking sweet, man. Just the colorways just go together. So badass. That uh, leather Nike Air. The glossy red. Just a clean look. The black bottoms. That's, that's a freaking plus. Because anybody who knows those different color bottoms, they show everything. And if you're like me... I wear all my shoes, all of them. Oh, the only ones I haven't worn are these, which are the sixes. I, I, I'm waiting to break those out. 
but uh, I clean the even the damn soles of my shoes before they go back in my boxes. Um, I'm weird, man. I, I, we pay all this money for stuff, and I'm damn sure gonna keep it clean. And I don't want to see a big chunk of gum or dog shit on the bottom of my shoe. But yeah, dope shoe. Definitely will be putting these on feet soon. It'll be the weekend pretty soon. Maybe break these bad boys out. But yeah, clean looking shoe, man. Let me know what you think in the in the comment section if you should put the red laces. I've seen them with the red laces and they look good. But the black laces go go together. And let just that little hint of red pop. But I might try them with the red. Because I did see some images with the red and they look freaking fire. Fire, fire, fire. I'm going to have to go buy some more damn crepe crates. Stock A sticker. But yeah, boxes. Oh. And everybody always asks me when I buy these crates. Like, what do you do with these boxes? I mean, they're sneaker boxes. Do you keep them... Um, What's the point of having those if you have these? Uh, those look nice. <laughs> this. I, I have OCD, man. So, like, my closet has, a, like, 30 pairs of shoes up on top of it. And they're all different shaped boxes, different colors. Yeezys, LeBrons, Foams, Hardens. <laughs> some old KDs, like the Gumbos. And, uh... It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts seeing all the different boxes, different shapes, different colors, and everything just clashing and just bothers the hell out of me. So this, this is pleasing. Pleasing to the eye. Even though the colors somewhat trying to match. You know what I mean? But uh, like I said, it's a work in progress. Those are 40 bucks for every two, for two of them, which is not a bad price, especially with the way they're built and how they're going to keep your sneakers from seeing sunlight. And usually when I go to work, because I share a room with my, my youngest son, who's four, so he doesn't mess with my shoes. I actually just turn everything around so that the doors are closed and it's just a black box. You know what I mean? Because um, he has his sneaker collection all up under my stuff. He has all his his little guy Jordans and Westbrooks and all his stuff all in here. But uh, yeah, I, I get rid of these. I'm going to start getting rid of them. I don't think I'm going to put Yeezys in these things until the last... Probably to the last of the shoes that I'm probably not going to get. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, back to these. Freaking sweet. At a good price. Nothing crazy. I like how this is kind of a play off the damn off-whites. You know what I mean? Which I do have up here. But where it says, 1984-1985, Rookie of the Year, 2,313 points. 28.2 points a game. That's just awesome, man. Little details like this, little details like this on a simple color palette is what is what makes a shoe sought after by an actual enthusiast, not just somebody just trying to make a collection. When you try to see the little things like this, the little details, the subtle details, and you appreciate it, it makes a shoe that is not $1,000 or $2,000 or $500. It makes a shoe that's less than that sought after because it, when you look at it, to you it draws you in for the littlest things, which I love. You know, I, I, like I said in my last video, it doesn't have to be something crazy. Hype is what you make it. You know, this could be a hype shoe to you. This could be a grill, you know, at a couple hundred bucks. Um, and then over here, it's got the little, I guess the quote that he said in his acceptance speech. But, um... Yeah, man, just a dope shoe, man. Let me turn it down. My dog's going crazy. But, yeah, a beautiful shoe. Nothing crazy over the top colors. Nice and subtle. The little hits of leather and gloss. The deconstruction on this with the print just makes the shoe stand out, in my opinion. So, to a non-sneakerhead... That sees this, they're probably gonna think that's just a, you know, a boring ass shoe. This is a brown, brown and black and white shoe, but to me, it's a well put together shoe. It's got great appeal. 
let me know what you think in the, in the comments below uh, subscribe comment like I said good comment bad comment don't care thumbs up thumbs down don't care just let me know what's up you know let's just get some feedback and I don't know if y'all saw this but this right here is that Bumby hat Bumby Astros limited limit uh, limited edition collaboration hat pretty freaking sweet I got him to sign it had to drive down to Houston wait like four hours in line to get this they, they only made 150 of these and uh, yeah just an awesome pickup man and we're obviously in freaking first place like 32 games ab uh, above the next guy in our division looking like we're gonna win the World Series again so I'm gonna have to break this bad boy out it's suede all suede cost a pretty penny but well worth it especially from the Astros man just a great team fun to watch and they never let you down they could be down five runs and pfft, you know you, you don't even stress it you know what I mean not like back in the day but uh, yeah it's a dope hat picked it up uh, probably two three weeks ago at uh, Minute Maid Park but yeah let me know what you think of this shoe man I appreciate you watching if you made it to this far but definitely a shoe you should have in your collection man set super sexy gonna have to try out these red laces but yeah y'all take care man to the next video it might be a little bit but uh i think the only thing that i'm gonna try to go for for this the rest of this month is uh the first class flights i actually like those the perforated leather the barcode the white and the yellow it's nothing too crazy it's nice and subtle but it's something different that you might not ever might not see everybody wanting to wear which is what i like being different is cool man we all have different collections you know like I said, not very many people down here wear foams. Foams just sit on shelves. If they came out with a, a nice foam and it happened to come to where I'm at, I guarantee I could walk in there the next day and pick it up. But yeah, thank you for watching. Go ahead and uh, subscribe. Appreciate it, man. Until next time.